Hello friends, after a long time I'm back and I'm gonna show you today a very interesting topic about audio device detections. So you can make your own audio device detection which will show you the peak of the value in the and you can use it in any of your project. You can detect the microphone voice, the built-in speaker voice or any other devices, audio devices so let me show you the demo first here i start the program it would be very easy method and really useful in very of the projects so i don't know why my pc is taking so much time to run it maybe i need to replace my pc to upgrade it to better version so any of you recommend me a uh, best or reliable laptop brand in comments so waiting up waiting up so, and one more thing guys you can comment me any of the topic regarding c -sharp or we will studio so i can guide it guide it to you by making the tutorial on that particular topic so let's start just start it up why are you making me so embarrassed So here a program start let's let there are two devices speaker and microphone when I come to microphone so here you can see how I'm speaking it's showing me the value and uh, it's showing me what I am speaking detecting the peak of the value like if I speak so loudly uh, uh, and it's showing the hundred value now if i select speakers and play something so let's play something so here i open up an audio audio device so here open i just play an audio track and here you will see hi, hi. I'm, I'm Dr. Zaidi uh, uh, about, about 20 years ago I got, I got interested in uh, uh, things uh, other than uh, regular medicines to help my patients so so here you can see as I go to speakers it's showing the values or peak values of the built-in speaker and when I go to microphone so it's showing the value of microphone so without wasting any more time let's start how we can make it I just stop the program it's one of the very easy method and we will use the built-in we will use the external library of an audio using managed nougat packages so here's the design what is that it's just a progress bar progress bar this one this one is the progress bar and that's the combo box it's the combo box simply Her is the combo box this one and this is the label simply let's go to the calling part I'll delete it so I can do it from separate I just remove it all right now the first thing is you need to go right click there manage nuket packages for solutions 
what you need to find over there is LRU. NRU. So you need to install it. I already installed it. You just need to install it. After installing it, I add the timer over there. The timer. I set it enable to true and interval is 10. So I go to coding part, initialize component. Here I write an audio dot core audio API mm device in emulator. So I just remove it. And make an instant en is equal to mm device and emulator. New mm device and emulator. Now, what I need to do is variable devices. Here I collect the information of all the devices that's connected to my particular computer where I'm running the program. Here I write in, in enumerate audio endpoints. Here I need data flow dot all and device state dot active. All right. So, the list of the endpoints will be stored in the, in the variable devices. I pass this variable to the combo box, combo box one dot add ring dot items dot add range. devices dot to array all right it's look white says fine now what I need to do I go to timer and here I write if combo box one dot selected item not is equal to now then execute this one the piece of code here I write variable single device or selected device whatever is the name of the variable here I write the type that I want to select mm device combo box one dot selected item okay now in the next part I need to pass the value progress bar dot one dot value is equal to int I will convert the value into int single device dot audio meter information dot monster peak value I multiply by it with 100 and here it is all right now label one dot text is equal to I just copied that piece of code copy that Paste there, and uh, I just put the brackets to convert it to a string because label needs to need string value. So now let's start the program.
so here is our program I select the microphone so you can see it's showing the value hope it would be useful and it would be interesting in the next tutorial we will use this and make a project so stay tuned stay subscribed thank you